So today we're at the House of Commons at Westminster to encourage uh, the government to pass the Kept Animals Bill. We've ridden down here from Hyde Park Barracks, we've had Jane Holdenness Rodham, Olympic legend, we've had World Horse Welfare patron Sarah Cox and also World Horse Welfare Rehomer, this Esme, and a group of ten of us have come down and really it's very simple, it's a piece of legislation, it's a really good piece of legislation that has cross-party support that fulfills three government manifesto pledges. Um, but of most relevance to Welter's welfare, the fact that it would ban and make illegal the live export of horses and other animals for slaughter and fattening. And that's something that goes to the very foundation of World Horse Welfare. As I say, it's a wonderful piece of legislation, but it's been stuck in the House of Commons for over 500 days, and we need to get this passed by the end of this current session of Parliament, or the bill, bill will fail. So we really need people to go to World Horse Welfare's website uh, and write directly to the Prime Minister. How to do that is all on the website, and we'd also love people to be able to support us through do donation so we can carry on this campaign, carry on carrying, finding the evidence to lobby to make this change, which is so important and would fulfil a hundred year dream for World Source Welfare. So we have ridden through the centre of London, we rode through Parliament Square, lots of tourists there, we rode past Buckingham Palace uh, and all to raise awareness of World Horse Welfare and us hoping to push through a bill to stop live export of horses for slaughter but we don't really know what will be happening to the horses once they leave the country so we just want to improve welfare for horses, make sure they're safe um, and it's really important, hopefully we can make it happen. So today I've been marching on Parliament on horseback and I've been filming it all from my social media channels to try and get the word out as much as possible. I've been wearing these high visors that have the hashtag on the back. A lot of the general public have also been taking photos of us as we've been riding around um, to try and get this bill through Parliament um, for the Kept Animals Act to prevent horses being smuggled out of the UK for slaughter. Um, this is really important because nobody wants this. Nobody wants horses to be smuggled out of the UK, um, which is really, really horrible. So um, that's why we're here today to try and raise awareness and get this act put through. The ride was put together as an idea really just to bring it into reality. Horses are still so relevant to, to um, humankind, to people in the 21st century. So it was an opportunity and, and the, the wonderful people of Wimbledon Village Stables provided horses from, from the stables. They've come up here and we've ridden from, um, the, from Hyde Park Barracks. We had a, a police escort. So it really is just bringing some tangibility, just as bringing horses to the Houses of Parliament and saying, really, come on, let's do it. Well, it was a great ride. We all had a lot of fun and set off here from the Hyde Park Barracks uh, to uh, Parliament. And um, all the horses were wonderful. And uh, we all had a really, really interesting time. And hopefully, you know, the, the campaign will, will help support the, the horses um, that the whole project is all about. It was really, really special because you sort of had that tangible feeling of excitement because we rode down um, Constitution Hill, down to, to, to the palace, and everything is getting set up for the coronation next month. We rode across Horse Guards Parade uh, where everything, again, is being set up, you know, the scaffolding. It's just an extraordinary feeling and coming onto Parliament Square really was quite special. The traffic came to a standstill and we rode to the, to the place where we really hope over the next few weeks that they will take the Kept Animals Bill forward and pass it into law. Horses play a massive part of my life, they always have done, um, and I've got my own lovely little pony up in North London, and they're just such incredible animals, and they're so giving, and they're so kind and sweet, and they work so hard for us, that I think the least we can do is try and give them the best life that we can and make sure that they're treated as best as possible. So I love the work that World Horse Welfare does all around the world, uh, does what it says in the tin, and just tries to make sure that horses have as good quality lives as possible. 
So Wild Horse Welfare is a really important charity and really close to my heart. I've rehomed my horse or my pony Duke from Wild Horse Welfare um, two, almost two years ago now and um, the work that Wild Horse Welfare do is really important. I feel really honoured to be invited um, to this um, March on Parliament today and be part of all of this. So what's most important today is that we all take action and the first way of taking action is clicking the link in the description below and there you'll be able to write directly to the Prime Minister because he is the one obviously ultimately who can really move this piece of legislation forward. Also through our website you'll be able to donate and very much be able to us be able to carry on this campaign because we know it's a founding campaign for World Source Welfare and if we can get it across the line it will make such a huge difference to thousands of horses both today and tomorrow.